psychologist, Ron Rhodes. Ready for a life hack, Angie? I'm always Maybe. ready to dole one out. They're not always <laughs> good, but I'm always ready okay. to dole it out. I'm listening. Okay, today is the 27th of March. Out with the old, in with the new. All right, giving a big presentation. Angie, you've done this many times in your life. I've done quite a few myself. So here's the deal. This is how you should prepare if you haven't done a lot of these. Have a friend ask you a preset question. So give them a question to ask. This way, you could come up with a great answer beforehand and to look like you really know your stuff. Not a bad piece of advice. Really? Okay, so I'm just giving it a thumbs up. Not a bad piece of advice. That way you're not blindsided and you do know what you want to say. Because right. when it's over, you go, why didn't I think of that? Exactly. That's a good point. Maybe get a few people, get their feedback on, I'm talking about this, give me a question that you would want to know the answer to for right. that style. Right. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a good one. That's a keeper. All right, there we go. Yes. I'm doing an eclipse talk here coming up pretty soon. Maybe I'll, I'll give you a little bit of feedback, or you can give me some of your feedback. We take a look at our Heads Construction Tower Cam shot. Of course, that's right out there in the backyard. Looking down upon the strip in Henderson, the sunshine busting through the clouds. Love to see that. And we are going to see more and more sunshine as we work our way toward the afternoon. And throughout the afternoon, a whole lot of sun going on is what I'm expecting. Uh, now let's take a look at a few other tower cams. This is from USI. And of course, uh, that is our camera looking out toward University Boulevard and... The Lloyd Expressway, some traffic headed inbound to Evansville, some traffic headed also to Evansville on the off-ramp there uh, from University Boulevard. Look at downtown. Now we're starting to see the clouds break up quite a bit. A lot of blue in the sky, almost like Simpson-like clouds as we look down upon the mighty Ohio from on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now the temperature, 43 degrees. We've got a wind from the northwest at 9 miles an hour. Yes, you're going to know the wind's out there. But no, it's not going to be anywhere close to the wind that we had yesterday. We had a peak wind gust on Tuesday of 44 miles an hour. Peak gust on Monday of 40 miles an hour. It's a whole lot of wind out there the first couple of days of the week. And now the wind backing off a little bit, but you know it's out there. I mean, it's not gone completely. Temperature-wise, we still have some 30s on the board. Lagodi and French Lake both at 37. Most of us low to mid-40s now. 41 in Jasper, 42 Santa Claus, 43 Owensboro, 44 Calhoun, 45 Madisonville, 46. I don't see a 46 on the board. Well, Morgantown, you got to go outside the tri-state. But, yeah, a lot of us now starting to nose our way into the mid-40s. We'll be about 10 degrees warmer for a high today in the mid-50s. Live radar? Nada. Uh, you can see the clouds really starting to break up. We had a pretty good deck of clouds for most of the morning. Now we're noticing the clouds breaking up quite a bit, receding more to the east. We're still seeing some thicker clouds down around Hartford, Beaver Dam, down in Muhlenberg County, Central City and Greenville, and also Hancock County and in Perry County. Tell City still seeing some clouds, but starting to break up pretty quickly now as the sunshine is starting to assert itself as we head toward the afternoon. But pretty good deck of clouds upstate in Indiana. Uh, not much to be had now in Illinois. So if you're traveling north, uh, you're going to run across a few clouds, Indiana and Ohio, if you get on the road right now. But they'll be gone soon enough, too. Uh, future track, pretty much a blank map from here on out. Got a mainly clear sky tonight, too. The temperature's going to drop down to 32. So it's going to be a cold start to the day. A little bit colder than this morning. Most of us started the day upper 30s this morning. But we'll be down around the freezing mark tomorrow. And, yes, then throughout the day for our Thursday, here we are first thing in the morning. I mean, it's a blank map. We've got straight sunshine from start to finish tomorrow. Like what I see there. Got a few clouds kind of traipsing on in on Friday morning, but it stays dry on Friday too. So we're going to be seeing a mix of sun and clouds and the temperature will be close to 70 by then. Today, nowhere close to 70. 54 degrees is what I'm calling for a high. So yeah, down from yesterday, the average high is right around 60, so about five below the average. And yeah, now we've got the sunshine out. We had the clouds this morning. It's going to be pretty much uh, mostly sunny from here on out. We've got that wind from the northwest at 5 to 15. You're going to know it's out there, but it's still not going to be all that terrible. On the three-degree guarantee, yesterday I called for a high of 65. Right ahead of the front, that temperature jumped up to 69. Missed it by that much. Uh, that's okay. We'll get it today. Calling for a high of 54 on this Wednesday. I feel confident about that as clouds have given way to sunshine. And then plenty of sunshine Thursday. High of 60. 69 on Friday. I think the best looking day of the week as we have, you know, really a little bit of a breeze out there, but still nice and warm out. And then temperatures will be in the mid 70s both days over Easter weekend. Not going to be a washout, but there is a slight chance of rain on Saturday morning. I know events are going on Saturday too, not just Easter Sunday. Looks like the best chance of rain on Sunday, and it's not a a great one at 30 percent will be later in the day some guidance has a little bit of rain in the morning right now i think the best chance is going to be in the afternoon and we should have a mainly dry midsection of the weekend and then we've got a lot of rain headed our way and a lot of wind headed our way on monday
Monday and oh, Tuesday. We haven't and, had any wind in so long. <laughs> I know. Isn't it funny how Monday and Tuesday are the windiest days of the week? It was this week, I mean, obviously yesterday and the day before, and then next week looks like they're going to be the windiest days of the week, too. So Monday and Tuesday. But if you're going to have the two windiest days, might as well be on a Monday, right? And a Tuesday, I guess. Uh, yep. Beautiful sun or moon set, I should say, but the moon was Lovely. rising over some of the water there by Ellis Park and uh, Trish Keach got that great shot of the full worm moon. And I love like the lines of clouds and underneath And I love the too. light on the water as well. Yeah, Good job, Trish. Water. When we come back, Ryan is here. Big event tonight.